everyone, I hope you're all well and enjoying the Christmassy time. Um, it's basically nearly New Year's now, which is scary. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have all been enjoying stuffing your face. I know I have. <laughs> but yeah, today I wanted to show you what I got given for Christmas and also some of the bits that I've been picking up in the sales. My Zara order has just arrived, which is very exciting. <laughs> I'm going to start with presents um, and I'm going to do things from my parents first. All my presents came in this little lobster bag, which is very cute. This is like one of my favourite prints from Kath Kidson and their little shopper bags are always such good quality. so. Very happy with that. So my main present this year was a pair of Ugg slippers, which I was so happy about. I've wanted a pair of Ugg slippers for God knows how long. Um, at uni, I've been wearing my like little Primark slippers. Um, all the girls in the flat have the same ones, and they're not exactly the best slippers in the world. <laughs> um, let's just say you can feel the floor now through my slippers. Um, so I'm really excited to have some actual like sturdy slippers. We have a good solid rubber bottom, which is what I like. Um, oh, <laughs> this one. Mm. I don't know why this year I've really fallen in love with Nutella. Um, so I got a 630 gram bottle of Nutella. Yeah. Next up is this yoga eye pillow um this was when i went on that little staycation with veda we did like a yoga class and at the end we did a meditation with this on our eyes and it was the nicest thing um and then when me and mum were in tiger one day i saw these i was like oh. and also it smells of lavender oh, which is so nice i got a little lint teddy bear this is actually from my sister um, so very excited. I'm surprised I haven't eaten this already actually to be honest. Then next up we have a little first aid kit. This is also from Tiger. First aid kit, always very useful. Um, Mum and Dad also got me Bayless and Harding Black Pepper and Ginseng Cleansing Hand Wash. Which I'm sure will smell nice because that sounds quite an interesting scent. I think we have this at home already and I think I like it so I'm taking this back to uni with me. This next present was very, very useful. This is actually like the one thing I asked for. <laughs> um, and it's a load of, I should not sure. And it's a load of different coloured threads. Um, basically, I never have the right colour thread when I need it. So I thought I'll start getting a little collection of threads together for when I make little samples of clothing and things like that. Um, because the thread colour makes such a huge difference. So Really excited about those. I got some little socks with festive sausage dogs on them. I also got me a little folder with like succulents and cacti on it. Um, so that's very nice. And then this is a bit hard to show, but basically it's a pair of thermal leggings and a thermal vest, which is super exciting for you guys, I know. <laughs> but I get really, really cold, so this is a very useful present. My brother got me some more Dymo tape which is just for my little label maker thing. Um, so a very useful present because I've run out of black completely. So Then also from my sister, she got me a really lovely garlic press. Um, I don't have a garlic press and that's what I asked for as well. <laughs> I want garlic press and thread. <laughs> and it's actually really cool because she said that this bit like goes over the other side and pushes the garlic back out so it's easier to wash up. You know, some girls ask for a Gucci handbag and I ask for a garlic press. <laughs> There's a little My Little Pony rubber in here. Don't know, I think that was from my parents. <laughs> um, I used to be obsessed with My Little Pony when I was younger. My auntie Vicky got me some really lovely socks from Oliver Bonus that say good vibes only on them. And then she also gave me this little book of 101 ways to live well. Mindfulness, yoga and nutrition tips for busy people. So. I'm excited to start reading through this and just think of little tips to relax and live well. <clears throat> Some sticky notes, these are also from my parents. And then this was also from my Auntie Vicky, this is like one of those um, like laundry bags. Um, but it's actually a recycled product, so that's cool. Feels really nice actually. And it's got little flamingos all over it. My grandma gave me this hot water bottle which scared me so much when I opened this because I ripped like this little bit and there was this like 
massive cat face looking at me. <laughs> so it was quite terrifying when I opened it, but I think it's quite cute after I opened it. It's like I've got a little cat with me all the time now. And I can take this to uni and I can have a hot cat in the bed. And then she also very kindly gave me some very fluffy socks. Um, I love these fluffy socks so much. Oh, so I'm completely stocked up on fluffy socks now. This little purse, little coin purse thing, was from my friend Sophie, which is gorgeous. And inside it, it had a little handmade ring that she made at uni, which is so cute. Um, it also has my like initials engraved in it. And I was wearing it last night, but I took it off um, to sleep in. Um, but it was, it's just a little silver ring. Um, which is very, very kind of her lovely little present. My auntie and uncle gave me this lovely baking tray. I have one of these already, but it's really shallow and it's really annoying for when I want to make like deep cupcakes. So this is perfect. Um, I can make the cupcakes I want to now. My parents also gave me a little stand for my keyboard piano thing. Um, so I don't really have that on me because it's downstairs underneath my piano now. Um, but yes, that was very kind to of them and it's a very useful present. Now I'm going to move on to things I picked up in sales. Um, I'm going to start with Zara because stuff is right in front of me. This first thing, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep or not, it's a bit of a mm, purchase. It's either like, you love it or you hide it. So it's basically this massive faux fur pink jacket, um, which is like midi length. Um, yeah. I love the like sort of neckline and everything. I think it would be a really good piece for like a photo shoot, but I don't think I'd wear it every like as an everyday piece, so I don't think I can really justify keeping it. <laughs> so I think that's going to be sent back. So yeah, that's my midlife crisis purchase of the sales. Next up, I have this gorgeous, gorgeous pair of leather shoes. Um, these also I'm not sure about keeping because they were still 30 quid in the sale um, but they are just so pretty they're also quite an odd colour which is why I'm sort of umming and ahhing about them because I'm not sure how much wear I'll get out of them but I just think oh, they're just so beautiful and they make your legs look so long and skinny and I just I really like them but <laughs> I don't know <laughs> um, the next pair I might as well just do shoes now because I bought three pairs of shoes. <laughs> the thing is I just can't deal with going into Zara and shopping their sale in the shop because it's just so stressful. So I ordered a load of stuff online with the incentive of sending most of it back. <laughs> These shoes were £10 which is crazy and I thought they'd been really uncomfortable but I tried them on and they're actually not too bad and obviously they make me look really tall because they've got this massive platform under them. But yeah I'm going to try wearing them around the house see if they're actually comfortable and then I will think about keeping them or not. Then the final pair of shoes is this gorgeous pair of navy velvet high heels. These feel very like Mew Mew-esque to me with the like, how am I going to show you this, here we go. It's got a really funky like really chunky heel which I love um, but when I tried it on it wasn't the comfiest around the toes so yeah I sometimes struggle with Zara shoes because I feel like they're just so sturdy um, but then some of them are fine like my boots that I bought recently are so comfy but um, yeah I've had some bad experiences with Zara shoes in the past but I'm gonna try them on again and see if I like them but oh, they're just so beautiful okay moving on to clothing the first thing I picked up are these Bermuda shorts and they're in like a green it's like a really nice green it's very muted um, and I love this little um, ring tie at the top um, and they're just a really flattering fit I'm not gonna be trying any of this on just because in my next video I think I'm gonna do like a what I wore this week and wear most of the stuff that I'm showing in this video so stay tuned for that I also have too much uni work to do so I don't have time. <laughs> Next up is a pair of jeans and I wouldn't really go for these jeans normally but they were in the sale and they look like they fitted the model really well. Um, this is, where is it, this is the bit that I don't like, this sort of lace rose. Um, but the fit is actually really lovely and they've got these really nice rips. Um, the length was really flattering so I think I'm going to hold on to these because you know when you find a pair of jeans that fit you should keep them. I just had to let the cat in. I forgot how annoying it is filming at home with a cat who just 
who can't open doors, can you? Because you don't got no ends. Ooh. Next up, we've got this jumpsuit, which is in like a floral print. It's kind of quite see-through actually when I'm looking at it like no smell. <laughs> um, but it goes into like these really gorgeous flowing clots with um, lace at the end, which is really nicely attached to the bottom of it. But yeah, this was really flattering. The straps are quite long, so I think I'm going to have to shorten those. Um, but that shouldn't be too hard. Um, but yeah, it's a gorgeous print. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to keep that. Then I picked up another one of these sweatshirts, the stripy ones. Um, I just love these so much. They're really flattering. The sleeves are like wide and get wider as they go down. Um, this one's in the charcoal. They also have it in uh, blue and red, I think. Um, but I really like the charcoal one, I just think it's the nicest one. Um, I haven't tried the other ones, but this is just easier to style with other colours. And finally from Zara, I think this is my favourite thing. This is a pair of cord dungarees, um, which fit so well. The leg length is perfect, the hips, are, oh, it's just such... I was a bit worried about the colour at first, but actually when it's... Now it's here, I really like it. Um, it's sort of like a sandy stone colour. Lovely pair of dungarees. Moving on to things from H&M, the first thing I got was this uh, like wide striped white jumper with wide sleeves. I've worn this quite a bit already. Um, the neckline's really nice, it's sort of like, it's not low but it kind of goes like wide um, but it's really flattering. It's actually such a nice jumper. So yeah, I'm really really happy I picked this up. Next up from H&M is I actually purchased this before when it wasn't in the sale but in like quite a small size and I was like this is such a weird jumper but it was in the sale and I got it in an extra large so this is like a mohair mix cardigan um, which obviously is like beautiful texture and really good quality wool and yeah I just love it in the extra large because it's like a really slouchy fit now um, and like tucked into some high-waisted blue jeans it just looks so good then I'm not sure if this one was in the sale or not but it's like a long sleeve white ribbed top I already have this in like a neutral color from there but I really like the sort of button down detailing of that top um, I also picked up two of these like really basic white t-shirts I got a little strappy top this was in the sale um, and then I also got a white shirt um, I've been looking for like a nice white shirt for ages and if you're looking for one, H&M is a place to go because ASOS just don't really have any nice ones. Um, but yeah, I don't think this was in the sale actually. But it's got a really nice like high-low hem. Um, it's just gorgeous detailing really to a shirt. Um, so yeah, really happy with this. Then also from the sale, I picked up this little um, just grey skirt I thought this would be really cute for like a nice simple outfit and then the last thing I got was this like sweatshirt material and then shirt material jumper sweatshirt thing <laughs> it's a bit confusing but um, it actually looks really nice on because I got it and I was like ooh that looks weird but on it looks much better so that's everything from H&M and finally new look the first thing is this little jumper I actually wore this in one of my recent Instagrams. Um, so I shall put, try and find the picture and put it up now or something. But um, this was like 12 pounds, I think. A really cute little jumper with like holes in it. And yeah, I just think New Look always do great jumpers, to be fair, that last quite well. I also picked up a shirt and a top. I think I might be taking these back because I'm not the biggest fan of them. The first one is this little blouse, like this, which is cute, but I'm not sure. Um, and then the second one is this um, like massive checked shirt. So yeah, that is everything I picked up from the sales. And so yeah, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you guys got for Christmas. I'd love to know. Um, let me know like what your favorite present was this year. Um, and yeah, I hope you all have a lovely new year and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.